It's Thursday evening, October 28th, and I am remote connecting to a client who um, is having problems herself using a the remote desktop connection to a remote system. This remote system sits in the uh, back room of the uh, kids dental uh, a kids dental practice that I'm I is also a client of mine, and she needs access to that computer using this, this remote desktop program in order to do her billing. Now I'm currently remote connected to this billing computer that the um, client is in need to access, but she does not use LogMeIn, which, which I am connected via LogMeIn at the moment. She, her systems are configured to use the remote desktop connection software uh, client from her computer. So for some reason, when she punches up the public IP to connect to this computer, uh, the remote desktop connection doesn't allow her to connect. So uh, that's what I'm here to resolve. And just to confirm a few things, I have the um, what is my IP address dot com uh, up, and I'm uh, just going to copy the public IP address, and I'm going to punch it in to here. Hit connect, and just confirm that it's not functional. Usually, it should be able to connect by now. Yeah, it's not getting anywhere. And there it goes. So it's just giving us a generic message. So that's what I'm here to resolve. Well, I found one solution, and that is to use a DMZ hosting, the militarized zone, and by placing the particular computer that needs to be remotely accessed on a specified with DMZ hosting. And so I went ahead and did that and applied those settings to the uh, DSL uh, modem slash router. And um, I verified that it works. So by putting the public IP address in and hitting connect, and there's just a warning saying that it's not a, a official identified PC, but that's fine. And as you can see, it pulls up a remote session where you can just log into that computer. And then I'll go ahead and log in. And there it goes. And so there's the DMZ hosting screen that I was just a moment ago displaying through LogMeIn. But now I'm connected through remote desktop from my computer. And, and as you can see, only one person can connect to the computer at once. Since I'm remotely connected through the remote desktop feature through uh, Windows, um, it sort of kicks me out from the log me in session. So if I wanted to try to reconnect to the log me in session here, so I'm, I'm logging in here. going back in and what it does as a result it kicks off the uh, remote desktop session and that's just a standard uh, behavior but uh, anyways the fact that the DMZ hosting I'm not really that comfortable with that because what it does is it places this computer that's wish that, that needs to be remotely connected to uh, in a way outside of the network and directly connected to the internet um, and that uh, can be a security risk. And so I'd like to find if there's some way in configuring the CSL modem to still have the ability to remotely connect, it, connect to it, just not uh, by configuring DMZ hosting. So I'll see what I can get to. I ended up messing around with the advanced port forwarding settings. And that is what enabled me to uh, get the remote desktop working. So what I did was actually applied the uh, uh, a set of uh, starting and ending ports which I configured for remote desktop and um, I think this is kind of difficult to see, there it is and then um, the IP address of the computer of course these are not the real numbers, I'm just putting it in as an example and so after punching this information in to the uh, DSL router slash modem uh, everything works so uh, just to confirm here I'm going to bring up remote desktop connection remote IP address Connect, and there it goes. It just gives a security notification, just a little warning. 
Hit yes. And then we're connected up. There we go. I'll go ahead and maximize this. And then, of course, I can proceed to log in. All right. And that's it. I'm just closing it off. But uh, problem solved.